Uh, you know me. Yes. Tell us your name, what you do. Uh, my name is Barbara Sarabidiaco. I'm a writer. I am an actress, a singer, and uh, I just put up a couple pieces tonight. It was a very exciting night um, with Nigger Ensemble. Um, a couple characters from one show, which I will finish next week. And um, I sing from Jesse. And I also met a screenwriter tonight mm -hmm. who has written for Hollywood about Bessie. Wow. We sold it. So he's going to call me. Um, we'll, we'll chat. And um, what else? I just really want to say the NEC is home because there's so um, mm -hmm. few places that will uh, allow us to have our voice. And so it's really good to be able to train and have people say, well, not only can you act here, but you can put up your own work. So um, it's just a great night. Great well, night. I had fun. I, I came in during. The first piece with the, the Bessie, the blues. Okay, good, the, good. Right? But the second piece blew me away. Tell me a little something about that. Um, piece. That, what that made piece, that happen? That piece comes from um, my work as an urban anthropologist, trained in specifically Muslim housing women in northern Nigeria. And uh, while I was in graduate school, we had a conference on African women's health. And um, I met practitioners, I met some academics. And um, as I was talking to him from Kenya, we were on these conferences and they were, I already had my own opinions about African women and this whole thing about us going over and telling them what their problems as opposed to. So it was good to have the practitioners. And so they were talking about how a lot of the drugs, especially the birth control, had been being tested on African women, like when they bring the ads on the conferences, the thing you see on TV. They tested that for 50 years already in Africa. So that part of it, and then also um, when I moved into DC, um, I worked at a women's homeless shelter with very little money, and I was really into work, couldn't afford to stay, but as I was working there, um, there's a high correlation between homeless women, drug abuse, and mental illness, mm -hmm. and my boss was always getting the women who mentally ill experiments, and, which is a fiasco because they can't continue the drug, and so I wanted to find a way of dealing with the subject, and there's the bridge right there, women of African descent, so the story is really about a death that occurs, and um, there's an African American woman who works for the drug company. Who's her character. Yes. She has to have um, her consciousness is called into question, but she goes to resolve it. And she has to look at the facts and look at what her role is in doing these experimentations. So that's that. Wow. You so know what? We're gonna show we're gonna show the audience a little bit of that right now. So we just go to that. What are you and doing? <laughs> TV show, <laughs> TV show. Okay, <laughs> right. Dorsey. Dorsey. Thank you so very much. I love you. It's so it was very nice to meet you. I'm looking forward to you doing the, the two, the, the one woman show that you were telling me about. I know it's gonna be hot from the fire that you brought tonight. Thank you very much. And you have a great evening. Okay.